Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Steel Series Stratus XL. This is a console styled wireless gaming controller for Windows and Android devices, so you can use it on phones and tablets, that uses Bluetooth and is AA battery powered and is apparently capable of lasting up to 40 hours. Now, this is an unboxing video, but it's also a tips video to show you how to set up this controller because I had problems during the setup process that are worth bearing in mind. It's actually not too bad once you get the hang of it and you know a few things, so stick with me, or skip to nearer the end, to get a view of how to set it up and what the problems are, and that'll make your life a lot easier. In the meantime, you can enjoy the joy of the unboxing, and if you wish to see this unboxing without my waffle, I have done a separate video where you can just enjoy the sounds of the controller. Now, this controller is pitched as a best for VR controller in that it's capable of working with HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Gear VR as an alternative controller to the standard VR controllers that you get with those devices. Obviously, it also works in place of an Xbox 360 controller, and you can see it takes a similar design aesthetic. It's quite large and chunky and has those two handles to them. It comes with the AA batteries, which is always nice. Batteries are included in the box. Also have these really cool accents on it and rubberized joysticks. So there's tips of them. I've got rubber coating on, which makes them quite comfortable to use. It's quite chunky and it feels durable and reasonably weighted in the hand. There's a simple setup menu and the setup and connection to your computer is actually fairly easy. Basically, you put the batteries in, you turn it on, you press a pairing button on top, open Windows settings, go to the Bluetooth section, and pair with the device. It's then recognized as a controller. There are some interesting bits that are discovered in the support pages, which I'll link to in the description, which talk about how it's recognized by Windows as a certain Bluetooth device when you want it to be sort of recognized as a Xbox controller instead or an alternative to and basically that setup process requires a firmware update which I'll show you how to do and that is done via the Steel Series Engine 3 which I'll also link to in the description and if you stick with me I'll show you how to update the controller as well you'll see there's a nice and easy access power button on the back and the cover for the AA batteries. Under there you'll also see, if you have a keen eye, a micro USB port that I did not notice when I first took this out of the box. And that is how you get your updates. You'll need a micro USB cable. That is not supplied in the box, frustratingly, but if you're a nerd like me, then you probably have loads of them laying around anyway and you just simply need to connect that to your gaming PC or any laptop or computer to then download the firmware updates via the SteelSeries Engine 3. But otherwise, this is what the controller looks like. You'll see when you first turn it on, you get the blinking lights. You then need to press the pairing button on top and you'll get the lights alternate to let you know it's in pairing mode which is quite cool the controller itself is actually really well designed and it looks nice I really like the orange accents and the way they've styled it and as I said it's very comfortable in the hand and easy to use. So there's no doubt a joy to use across a variety of games. I will be doing some playing with a variety of games to test it out. So here's the full setup process. As I said, turn it on and you'll see the lights flashing. On top is the pairing button. So you need to press and hold that to put it into pairing mode. And now you'll note the lights flash on the left and then on the right, they alternate between the two. Now, if you go to your Bluetooth settings on your computer, you can then click to add a Bluetooth device and then click to add the top one. 
Now, if you don't know how to do that, it's really easy. All you need to do is to press the Windows key and search Bluetooth, and then you get up Bluetooth and other device settings. And then you'll see the SteelSeries Stratus XL appear in the list of possible devices. And then you just click to connect with it and now pair that with your machine. And you can do this pairing with a variety of machines, so multiple machines, it's potential to go between them. And that's really easy to do as well. And eventually you'll see it will connect and your device is ready to go and you'll get a notification as such. And then you can open the SteelSeries Engine 3. You'll note here, even though it's connected, it's not showing up. Now, if you see this message, you can click on these links and clicking on the Bluetooth one, opened Edge, <laughs> and then gives you product support. And I'll add a link in the description in case you have problems and you can't follow this video properly. Uh, it talks you through how to do it. And this is how I found the tips for it. And there's a couple of those. Now it then tells you to go to Device Manager and check that it's showing up as a Bluetooth device. And you'll see it is in there. And the website recommends power cycling as in turning the controller on off and on again to see if that helps. It did not help me. What did help me is turning it off and connecting it to the laptop in order to update the firmware. Now you need to take the batteries out to do this. and then plug into the micro USB port. Apologies for the lack of focus, but it is underneath the battery, so you need to take both batteries out. Find yourself a suitable micro USB cable. Here's one I found in a drawer. <laughs> I do have an excess of them. It's always good to have an excess. Are you a real geek if you don't have a drawer or bag full of cables? Once you plug that in, the Laptop will automatically recognize it, obviously. And then so does the SteelSeries Engine 3. You'll note there is a red line under here that says a critical update, click to install firmware. You then need to simply leave the controller plugged in and it will go through the update process. Yeah, I have shortened this process slightly because it did take a few minutes. You can see it skip there. Enjoy that speedy update. That has now been installed and it tells you that you need to take the wire out and put the batteries back in. So obviously updating the firmware is an important part of this process that you could potentially start with from the beginning. If you have the same problem as I have, or maybe you should just do it as soon as you get it out of the box. Now, it still wasn't being recognized, but a solution to that problem comes in simply removing the pairing and then repairing it. Once again, pressing the pairing button on top until the lights flash and then going through that same process again to repair as a Bluetooth device. Quickly show you that once more. Let's click to add. Click for Bluetooth, top one, so mouse, keyboards, pens, audio, other kind of Bluetooth devices. And there's the Stratus XL. Connect to that. And then once it's connected, you can see in the background the SteelSeries Engine 3 now recognizes it. It's not plugged in anymore. It is doing it over Bluetooth. That then gives you access to it in the proper manner so it will now work as a proper Xbox 360 or Xbox One alternative controller which means you can use it in games and for the VR headsets as suggested. It also means you get access to the settings so you can tweak the sensitivity and invert things and change triggers and customize the settings a bit more to your liking which is pretty cool and a bonus of having this controller in the first place. So I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the pro tips, or well, perhaps they're noob tips, but uh, the process is not as easy as it should be. Please check out the links in the description for all the stuff you need, and be sure to subscribe, like, and come back for more in future. This is the Provoke Prawn signing out.